Oh, hi, baby. No, oh, I'm not doing anything important. Just making some cookies. Yeah, I figured, you know, I'd do a little something else with my time today. Now, well, I thought that maybe cooking making would be a nice little distraction on what's going on and stuff. They're your favorite. Yep, exactly the way you used to have them when you were a kid. <laughs> You're welcome. I just put them in the oven, so it's gonna be a little while before the oven goes off, and then we have to let them cool, and then we can enjoy them. Am I making another batch? Well, we do have a little bit of cookie dough left over. I suppose one more batch couldn't hurt. Do you want to help me out with it? Awesome, you're the best. Okay, I'll grab another pan. Hey, no. No eating the raw cookie dough. I wasn't doing it. Oh, no, don't lie to me. I saw your hand. You're just trying to reach into the cookie dough. <sighs> Babe, if you want to have raw cookie dough, you know that you're supposed to have a spoon. <sighs> All right. We'll do the one batch of cookies, and then we can share the rest of the cookie dough. It's not that much, and we probably won't get sick from it. Yes, I'm saying let's eat a few bites of raw cookie dough. But, uh... <laughs> don't... Don't don't say anything. Let's just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll grab the spoons. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Hmm. You know, I think I've outdone myself. Not to pat myself on the back or not to toot my own horn, but... I, yeah, I've, I've outdone myself. Well, I'm glad you can agree. Hmm. This has been kind of nice. Hanging out here in the kitchen with you. Being by ourselves. I know we'll definitely need to get used to it for a while, but hey, at least we can still have fun with it, right? Yeah. I'm glad we can have fun with this, and I'm glad we can be together. Yeah, I love you too. <sighs> hey, babe. I gotta ask you something. What, besides what's in the oven, what is your favorite cookie of all time? What's my favorite cookie? Um, hmm. My favorite cookie has to be a tie between chocolate chip and sugar. 
and snickerdoodle. And my great-grandma's cowboy cookie recipe. Yeah, you know what? No, scratch that. It It is my great-grandma's cowboy cookies. Because, oh my god, were they good! I'm serious. Those things... Those cookies, my great grandma, she knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. Okay, she made it so that it those cookies were so addicting. You can never have just one. I mean it. You go up to her and you say, Gigi, can I have a cookie? And she says, of course, dear, you can have a cookie. And then... As soon as you're done with that cookie, you come back two minutes later, and you're like, Can I have another cookie? And she'll say no, because she never made a whole lot. But then that changed when I started helping her in the kitchen, and then my grandma helped out as well, and so did my mom. And then, uh, then we'd start cooking, start baking. A little sad. Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sad. Just reminiscing. But hey, enough about my stories. Why don't we listen to some of your stories? And I mean, the oven should be done in a few seconds. I like to hear some of your stories if you don't mind telling them, of course. I mean, we have a couple of... There goes the timer. <laughs> well, that means the batch is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out of the oven, and then we can enjoy fresh baked cookies. But... If you still want to tell that story, I'd be more than happy to listen. And maybe we can make a little bit more cookie dough for us to chow down on. What do you say? Want to help me make some more cookies? <laughs> 